Well, we needed it. You lose two at home, that hurts. Uh, it's worse when it's the same team that beats you twice. So we needed a kind of a foundation game, get back to the basics of, of what we're good at. We were, we were good in almost all parts of it. I, th I thought um, our bench was right. And that, that you're looking for almost the heads more than the bodies. You understand over the course of the year, the bodies aren't going to be great a lot of nights. Uh, but, uh, but I thought that uh, we came out of our fog a little bit here, and uh, we were good tonight. Yeah, I got nothing to do with it. You, I'm, I only need to talk to you after we lose. I got nothing to do with the wins. Coach Bobrovsky always seems to find a way. You've seen so many of his great games. You've got a shutout, you know, first one of the year. What does it mean? Just for I, I think you could, you can, uh, all joking aside to the, your earlier question, the, the people that are leaders in the room were really good tonight. So the biggest minute men on normal nights, and Sergey's our biggest minute guy every night. He's in the net, so he was. Very good and solid, um, and it felt that from the bench because they have a lot of very good hands in close areas around the net. Some of those scrums early in the game, and then you know Barkov clearly was dominant in the game. Um, Porus is plus four, I think, tonight. So the guys that needed to lead did. Hi, yeah, Barkov. Is this, is this the best game you've ever seen him come back from this injury? He's just had game after game here. With yeah, I thought. Offs, everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's been really good. Like the, he was dominant in the in the in Finland, very very strong. I thought I thought that their line had a little lull there, and maybe three, two or three of the games. But that has to happen over the course of the year. Nobody um, gets three every night. So he was he was more importantly looked the way he's supposed to look. Right, he was as good defensively as he was offensively. And you guys, you guys weren't very happiest, but you weren't, nobody was about Thursday night. Did maybe sitting on it on Friday, coming in here fresh, maybe help a little bit? Oh, we needed, right. we needed to, to be away from the rink. We, we've just been, and it's schedule based and flights and all those, we, we've been at the rink an awful lot and, and that, sometimes you need not to see the coach. Oh, you know so my coming. wife says that, I don't know. <laughs> you know what's coming Tuesday. You know they're going to have the same response tonight that you right. guys had. Right, that, 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 that's the expectation. That's why I do prefer the home and home. But when you go back into their building, and then it'll make for a great game. They'll be, you know, they're, they're th it's three and five for them on a road trip, so they'll be they'll be at their best for sure. Well, you said you were a Winnipeg Jets fan the other eight yeah. games of the year, but how yeah. good did it feel to finally get a win in one of those other Just two games? Finally, not play terrible. <laughs> we'll just start that. Like the four games that we've played against these guys, we have not been very good. So. Um, this was not about Winnipeg for us. It was all about the last two games and riding the ship when you don't like your game. I thought the first uh, game two and three of the season, I didn't mind our game. And maybe I felt the same way about game two against Ottawa as I did the first Jersey game. Didn't mind our game. We really didn't like the next one. Um, and then we righted the ship and, and got playing some pretty good hockey.